Well, hey, uh, welcome back. This is Patrick Jackson, and uh, I've been away for a bit. Been, you know, moved out and stuff. Uh, that's going to happen again soon. So back in my uh, mom's basement here. Very wonderful. Um, I want to start a new series here, uh, the 8080. Specifically, I want to do a series on... Uh, small tools and routines that you can use for your assembly programs. Uh, if you're an advanced 8080 programmer, you probably don't need to uh, listen to any of these, but uh, I think they're really cool, and it's also just more of a thing for me uh, just to, to learn these small routines uh, today. And first of all, I want to do uh, a few routines from the string.h library in C, but do them in assembly. So I want to do memset, I want to do memcopy, and I want to do string copy. And I think we can do these very easily in assembly and possibly see how they work. So for memset, you have three uh, parameters. You have destination, you have your byte to set to, and then you have your size of. Um, yeah, this will follow string.h. Um, and then, let's see, so dest is going to be in hl. Um, byte will be in a. And then size of will be in c. And then, of course, return pointer to destination HL, because that's how you do inline functions in C. The whole point of these is that it returns a pointer. Um, uh, so let's do it. So I'm set. If you have seen my um, tutorial on how to do a, uh, a terminal in 8080 assembly, for CPM, you will recognize a couple of these functions. So my mom says this. So first, we're going to push H. Right, we got to um, let's there we go. Um, serve HL. We're going to move uh, M A. We're going to move let's do this lowercase a to hl right then we're gonna increment hl and then we're going to decrement c the counter then we're going to do a jump, not zero, mem set plus one. Why do I do a plus one? Because the push is the start of the code. I want to jump here. Push H is uh, one byte. If you look here on the op codes, yep, one byte. Um, is that zero loop? And then, of course, at the end, you got to pop H. So return HL. And then right, that there is memset. Oh my god, you're going to my mom upstairs. Now, let's see that um, in action. I can never remember all these functions. So now let us copy the uh, 
thumb set function. Let's see if it works. Look at that. Uh, we have a memset function. Um, we have the bytes zero, 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 and I have it so that you set, um, so this is gonna be byte, this is gonna be dest, and this is gonna be size of. Boom, and then you call memset, uh, and then I do a put s. And we're good to go. On to the next function. So this next function we're going to be doing is uh, memcopy. And it's going to be a little longer, but it'll be uh, easy enough to do. So it has dest, source, and then it has length. Um, so follows string dot h follows the convention so dest is going to be hl source is going to be de uh, and then len is going to be bc now uh that's oh, fun um it's going to be bc BC is, as you can tell, is a 16-bit register pair instead of an 8-bit register, which means we can then uh, copy a lot larger things instead of just uh, 255 bytes. Um, of course, you can interchange this with a with a 8-bit counter, and you can interchange the memset with a 60-bit counter. It's totally fine. It's it's totally up to you. I don't need to memset anything greater than uh, 128 bytes, really. Um, in CPM, but of course you do you. And then of course returns pointer to dest, right? Again, so you can inline it. Then copy. Um, push H, right? You do this to serve HL back. And then this again, you will see. You will see this uh, used in the um, what you call it term the uh, Y term videos. Um, I use memcopy all the time. Uh, not all the time. I just use memcopy. So this here is how to do a uh, 16-bit counter, and I have covered that in uh, a video uh, up here. B C to C F B C equals zero. Okay. Or a C right B C equals zero. Um it's kind of a genius uh genius method to see if a register pair is zero or not. Uh, you just load one of the sides into the accumulator and or it with the other side. And then of course RZ, right? If is zero, then return. Okay, now this is gonna be the actual looping part. LDAXD um load D E to A, right? And then move M A, we're going to store A to HL, right, which is destination. Then we're going to increment D then we're going to decrement the counter. Uh, BC. I'm not going to increment the address. I'm just going to. There we go. And we're not using BC as an address. Um, and now we got to check to see if BC is zero again. So move. We can actually copy this. 
Um, but instead of RZ, we're going to do JMZ jump not zero mem copy. Plus, we're going to jump down to the loop. So that's one byte, two byte, three byte, four byte right here. So we're going to do mem copy plus four. Um, loop if BC is greater than zero. And then, of course, when you're done, pop H, right? You got to restore it. Return HL and then red. Boom. And that there, folks, is our M copy function. Let's see if we can implement this. Let's see if this works. So what I should see is I should see hello. Yes. Cool. And as you can see, I use an exchange to show that the uh, returned um, that the uh, returned uh, what you call it? Return to HL value will work. And of course, this here is the uh, len. On to string copy. And string copy is dest source. Uh, string dot h. Um, dest in this case. It's going to be HL source it's going to be DE. Yes. And then it returns pointer to dest HL string copy. And let's go ahead and push H. Wizard. HL to stack, and here we go, move AM, um, this load M to A, right, because what string copy does is it, uh, let me show you, what string copy does is it is a looping copy, uh, but it has to check to see if uh, the current um, pointer the pointer currently point, points to uh, the string termination so that's what we're going to be checking cpi is zero right to see if and i just saw found a problem with my code Okay, there we go. So basically, we're going to switch DE and HL. We're going to see if the source is zero. Uh, we're going to jump back to string copy uh, plus N, but we're not, we're not going to figure out... Uh, how much because we got to uh, uh, basically skip everything. Basically, if it is zero, that means we're done. So we have to go down to the pop H and return. 
Um, so if this is true, Jay-Z will, will pop down here. Okay, if it doesn't end, then you switch back. Then store accumulator to D to H store accumulator to destination. A to M, which is HL. Uh, I, I'm I'm doing this one on the fly. I, I don't even I don't know. I I had this all written out, but like I have a ton of errors in this code. I'm just trying to think of it on the on the fly here. Um, increment D, right? I think my younger sister is supposed to be here for dinner, but uh, I we're supposed to like watch a movie tonight. But I guess I'll just be programming tonight. Um, and then jump right. You gotta jump back. So string copy, and this one I know is plus one, right? Because it's here. Push H is uh, one byte, and. Then, when we're done, if you look here, it says destination is uh, zero, so we gotta do that. So then we gotta do one more exchange. Um, get last dest pointer. And then I got to um, zero. Um, OS to M. Cool. Pop H return. Let's see if I did this right. Okay, so H is destination, D E is source. So preserve H. <coughs> Excuse me. Exchange. Now D E is destination and H L is source. So we're gonna move the source byte to A. We're gonna see if it's zero. If it is, we're gonna jump down and end. If it's not, if the source byte is not zero, we're going to exchange HL and DE. So HL will now be dest and DE will now be source. We're going to move the byte DE to HL. We're going to increment DE, we're going to increment HL, and then we're going to jump back to the top. And then once we're done, we're going to exchange HL and DE again. We're going to move zero to M. And we're going to pop and all that. Okay, cool. Now let me try to do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It needs to be this one. Cool. So let's see. One byte, two byte, three byte, four byte, five byte, six byte, seven byte, eight byte, nine byte, ten byte, eleven byte, twelve byte, thirteen byte, fourteen byte, fifteen byte. Should I skip the exchange? No. 14. Because that should be... 16. That should be 16 bytes down. That should be this move statement. Let's try that again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Cool, okay, 16 I think it is. And that's string copy. Let's see if this works in code. Uh, we have to, um, basically, remember CPN's print statement for some reason, like it's, uh, it uses a dollar sign as the ending character, so we'll have to work with that. Basically, I should copy hello to this, and this should be... Okay. Let's try that. Hey, 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 look at that, my string copy works! Uh, after completely figuring this out on the fly. Um, I'm pretty proud of that. Uh, the reason I'm using offsets instead of labels is because I don't know what labels you're going to be using. You could be using anything. So, you know, uh, better safe than sorry. And that way we only use the actual uh, words uh, instead of key terms, instead of like something arbitrary that you might have overwritten. Um Thank you, this is the uh, first uh, foray into uh, small tool programming in 88 assembly, and uh, I'll see you next time.